Hey guys, Hop here for TFB TV. We are at Chacho 2024 over at the Chris booth taking a look at the new Gen 3 Vector. I was hoping you could walk us through the changes. Yeah, um, I'm Mitchell, I'm the account manager here at Chris USA. Right here is the Gen 3 CRB. So this is gonna be sporting our 16 inch barrel. Um, on the Gen 3s, we're actually gonna be having a thread on them now. So you can actually put muzzle brakes and suppressors out there. The shroud can be removed. Um, you can have, you know, different uh, shorter length hand guards or, you know, our traditional classic look, single M-lock. Now, uh, the Shroud also now sports M-lock attachments, so you can directly attach your accessories onto here now. Um, we also mainly did a lot of changes on the body itself, right? So you have slimmer profile. A lot of the plastic has been pushed in wherever we could to kind of really bring a compactness to it. But we also wanted to include modularity to this generation. So we have interchangeable pistol grips now, so you can use any of your AR-15 pistol grips, any of the different angles you'd like to use, you can utilize on here. Um, we have a Picatinny rear end now, so obviously you can attach any of the braces or stocks you'd like to use. Uh, of course, we have a re redesigned style of our vector stock here. So. Big improvements on this, you have obviously length of pull adjustment. Um, the button can be reversed from left or right side depending on the shooter's preference. It can also fold left or right and the button can be on the top or bottom. So you have pretty much every option you could choose to really make this your own. Um, and from there, the magazine release is also reversible as well. Again, now we're catering to the lefties and righties. They can choose however they want to use it. So overall, the platform itself is excellent. Um, we also have a new trigger, so instead of a 3mm travel, we got 1mm, so even more crisp. So if you really want to use this thing, I'm, I'm planning on taking this out with PCC circuit, personally. So this is what I'm really excited for right here. Awesome. And this is like a thing that connects the, the grip and, and the yeah, body that's yeah. removable? So with, uh, with you're using our pistol grip that comes with it, it comes with a special grip core that really gives you that, uh, that trigger guard look here, but also stays to the, the true vector design. Um, of course, if you're using any other grip, you're probably gonna lose that option. So that's up to you, of course, of whatever you'd like to do as a shooter. Excellent. Is there going to be a price increase with the Gen 3 over the Gen 2? Is it coming about the same MSRP? So pricing on this is going to come out probably quarter two along with the availability. Uh, but we did have a recent you know, price price adjustment on the Gen 2s. So both of them will be available side by side. So you can choose uh, which would work for you. So if you want a little bit more luxury, you can go ahead and get the Gen 3s. But those that just want to you know, use a vector and have one on hand, the Gen 2s is still just as good. Are you guys going to keep the Gen 2 in production for a while, or are you going to just yeah, have them Yeah, yeah. They're both going to be running side by side. So you're going to have uh, your choice of you know, what that fits your budget, and those that like to collect uh, the original style designs and all that, all those options will still be there for you. Awesome. I think you nailed it, man. I cannot think of anything else to add. So, yeah, thanks for walking <laughs> us through it. Yeah. No, thanks for stopping by, guys. Excellent. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to TFB TV and TFB TV Showtime. Those are our channels that we cover all of the events at. We will see you guys soon. Thank you.